Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much for your support. Recently, I got some help um, when my garden was poisoned, vandalized. You know who you are. Thank you so much. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News, and there was another earthquake there in Virginia. This makes two within the last three days. Yeah, the first one was a magnitude 2.7. I reported that. And then early this morning, there was another one, a 2.6 um, near the Rampapo fault zone. And that goes all the way up to New York. And we'll bring it in. And we'll come back down. I am surprised that more people have not reportedly said they felt this earthquake. Sending it in to either EMSE or USGS Did You Feel It webpage. It was at uh, 9.09 a.m. local time. Uh, maybe you're still getting up around and about and haven't had time to report it. USGS gave it an intensity level of 4. Means it was felt indoors by many people. Outdoors by a few. Um, if they were still sleeping. Uh, they may have been woken up. Dishes, windows, doors were rattling. And automobiles rocked noticeably, so it was not your imagination. So I would like to know if you felt this earthquake or if any of your friends or family felt this earthquake. It rattled for quite a while. May have not felt like it rattled for a while, but it rattled for about, oh, five seconds, what you probably felt. Let me show you the seismic signature right there. Yeah, the plates are moving. This is um, because of the Atlantic plate uh, pushing westward. Yeah, and we got the Rapapo plate, and we got pressure along the Rapapo plate, or Rapapo fault, excuse me. <laughs> it's early. More coffee. Yeah, it could be indication that pressure is building. You never know. You need to be prepared. Earthquakes here on the East Coast are felt over a very wide area, a much wider area, say that uh, would occur on the west coast. Now many of you may remember back in 2002 this same fault system had a large earthquake. A lot of damage was created. That occurred in 2002 in April in La Sable or near La Sable, New York. Let me bring this out so you can see it. Hard to believe that the uh, Rampapo fault goes all the way up over here. Let me bring it out some. It had an intensity level of 7. There was damage to roads, bridges, homes, cracks in walls and foundations. Chimneys even fell. Uh, everyone ran outdoors, it says. Damage to buildings varies depending on the quality of construction. And it would have been noticed by drivers of automobiles. Luckily, no one was injured. And then many of you probably remember, let's see if I can find it. The magnitude 5.8 in 2011. Remember all the damage that one caused. How the uh, Washington Monument was closed for quite a while. The area of New York has the most earthquakes. You can see them all listed here. Let's see. We got, uh, try and find the largest ones. Let's see. A 5.2 in 1737. In 17... 83, there was a 5.3. New Jersey is the most active area for the Rampapo uh, fault zone. Yeah, so you should be prepared. You need to be prepared. A lot of people are just too young to uh, know about these major earthquakes. It doesn't take a very large earthquake like what would happen there on the West Coast to create a lot of damage. This is what's called... Uh, cold rock, hard rock, so the seismic waves move over a much larger area. So I downloaded one monitor that I got to work and you can see there's other earthquakes that have not been reported. They're not marked in red, but I'll show you that. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, tectonic. I've talked about this before, um, how the faults are moving because of the pressure. Here we got another one. And a 
little one there. Let me bring this over. We got some more. Yeah, they're not reporting these for some reason. Let me close this out. Yeah, see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A lot of little ones. Yeah, if they can get away without reporting them because people don't report that they felt them, they'll do that. Yeah, they don't want you to know uh, that we got some major earth changes coming. There's a little popping. Looks like a slow moving tremor there. Yeah, slowly moving. And then there we go. I pulled it going all the way back to the six. So I don't know if I have that one earthquake on here posted from the, the six. I believe it was. And let's go to the seismic signature. We'll just jump around here to some of these. Yeah, look at that. Wow. And as you know, there is a an ancient vo volcano up in the uh, New York area. Let me bring this over. Yeah. So there is magma down there. Let me bring it down for some more so you can see. A lot of you do know about that ancient volcano because every time I do a report about an earthquake here on the East Coast, many of you put that in comments. That's good. Even Virginia has ancient volcanoes. Here it shows uh, on Google search how um, there's geothermal activity at Highland, Bath, Augusta, and Rockham counties. So if you have geothermal springs, yeah, it's still active. Can't say that they're dead. I don't think there's any such thing as a dead volcano. And I believe this is location for another ancient volcano, Mole Hill. Let me bring it out a little bit. So there isn't just one ancient volcano along the East Coast. There's many of them. This is why there's area of hot springs and things like that. Yeah, and you can see the heat coming up. Let's go back to the seismic signature. Yeah, yeah. This one would be considered a volcanic tectonic earthquake. Yeah, with all the earth changes going on, with the heat of the magma down there in the mantle of the earth, you just don't know. It could erupt again. Wouldn't that be something? Yeah, hopefully that does not happen for a very long time. So what are your thoughts? Did you feel these recent earthquakes? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you very much for your support. And as always, be prepared. Please stay safe and I will talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.